What's going on guys? So today I'm going to teach you how to make a side-scrolling game similar to, um, to Mario. So we're going to get a, um, we're going to add a couple variables here in a minute. So in this uh, tutorial, I will add, uh, we'll make it obviously a side-scroller, and we're going to add some, um, some effects or um, physics to the game to give it a nice, uh, a nice Mario feel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a variable. And we're going to call this variable scroll x. And you wanna make sure it's for all sprites. Press OK. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the uh, this cat guy. Now you can use any sprite you want. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the original cat. And I'm going to shrink them down a couple sizes. It's about there. Now we're going to make um, two new sprites. You want to zoom out all the way. And we're going to click the rectangle tool. Pick any color you want. And go from one end all the way to the other. Making sure you've zoomed out. And when you press OK, that's going to give us a nice long bar. Then you want to go ahead and duplicate. Now I'm going to go ahead and call these um, simply bar 1 and bar 2. And just so I can distinguish the difference between bar 1 and bar 2, I'll go ahead and make bar 2 have a, uh, have a little box sticking out of it. Just so it's easy to tell the difference between uh, when I'm crossing certain areas. Now, uh, now we're going to add the code. And so go back to your cat, go to control, and we're gonna go, and we want to pick out two when the flag is clicked. Go ahead and duplicate it so we have two. Scroll down to forever if Do the same over here. Send things. Go to Key, space, press, duplicate it, put it on each side. Now, if you're like me, I've played a lot of Flash games, so I'm used to the whole ASD and W. But if you're not, then I suggest just using the simple arrow keys. So put one as A. And then put one as D. Now, if you're using the arrow keys, A would be left arrow. D would be right arrow. Now we're going to uh, go to our variables. We're going to pull out change scroll x by one, duplicate. Now we're going to change this to negative four and change this to four. We're going to place the negative four in this side and the positive 4 in the A side, or left side. So negative 4 is in right, positive 4 is in left. Now we need to go to our bar 1. Go to control, when the flag is clicked. Forever. Then we're going to go to motion. Pull out set x to 0. Go up to our operators. You want to get plus and then multiply. Then we're going to go to our variables, put scroll x in the uh, plus area. Then we're going to type 480 in our first section of our multiplying and then add a zero. Now you want to take this 
and drag it over and drop it into bar 2. Once you're in bar 2, simply go to the 0, change it to a 1. Now if we were to run this, as you can see, it's um, it's a little, it's somewhat working. A little bit more even. Now, we worked it out with the bars, but we've done nothing to the cat. This is the part where we'll add all the code and all the physics to the cat itself. Okay, so now we need to make um, about three variables. Three new ones, so go ahead and click on make variable. The first one will be called gravity. This is where we start adding in our physics. And make sure it's for all sprites. And then press OK. Then we're going to make another one. This one will be called velocity. This will be the velocity of the cat. And so it will be for the cat only, for this sprite only. Make sure you click that, press OK. Then we're going to add one more. This will also be for the cat. And this will count the amount of times the cat will bounce on the ground. So this will be stop bounce. And then press OK. Alright, so now that we've created these variables, we can start putting them together in such a way that will uh, affect the cat and the way he moves and reacts within the uh, within the environment. So we're going to go ahead and grab when flag is clicked, a forever loop, then you want to grab two if-else statements, put one inside the other, place it in the forever loop, go up to sensing, if touching color, click it and whatever color you made the um, the bars, go ahead and click it. So it matches up. And then in our second if statement, go ahead and go to variables, select bounce, go to our operators. So if bounce is less than 2, then this code will occur, which is go to variables, go to pick out set velocity go to operators pull out times go back to variables velocity itself times negative one so set velocity to velocity times negative one so whatever the output of this is will be what velocity equals then we're going to go to motion, set y to the current line position, go out to operators, get the plus sign, go to the variables, pull out velocity, so it's going to be the current y position plus velocity will set the y, place it right under there. Now we will Go and pull out set velocity. Go to operators divided by the current velocity and five. Then beneath that, go ahead and change, pull out a change, stop bounce by one. And inside this first uh, else part of the if statement, we're simply going to set velocity to zero. And in the final else statement, we are going to set our velocity we're going to set our velocity plus the current velocity 
plus gravity. And then all I need to do is just simply go to set the Y position. Go back to operators plus velocity. Now we have uh, finished the first part. All we need to do is just add in a couple more if statements. Alright, so we're basically done right here. So all we need to do is simply add jump. And then we need to set all the uh, variables from when the beginning of the game starts. So let's go to control. When the spacebar is pressed, then we need to pull out an if statement. And if touching, go to senses, if touching color, list the same color as your bar color. So if touching the color, we want to go back to variables. And we're going to set our stop bouncing to zero. We're going to set our velocity to nine. And then we are going to set our, oh, get rid of this. Go to motion and we're going to set our Y, or the current Y position Go to operators plus our velocity. So when this is uh, when this is activated, hopefully it will cause our mouse, I'm sorry, our cat to jump. And so now we just need to add in one more uh, block of code. So when flag is clicked. And this is where we're going to simply set all of our variables. Set our scroll x to zero. Set our gravity to negative zero point three. And set our velocity to zero. And let's not forget about the stop bounce. Make sure that is set to zero also. Then go to motion and simply pull out set x and set y. These will be zero also. So now let's run this and see if it works. As you can see, our cat clearly bounced and we can move. Now the bars are working. Now let's try to jump. And jumping works. So this is the first step to making a side-scrolling game. I will probably have a tutorial in the future um, going into more detail and fixing uh, certain things, you know, adding more stuff. Anyways, this line of code for the uh, the cat and the physics is actually um, this code was actually uh, co made by Mr. Pat Burled, I believe his name is. Anyway, I'll put a link for his YouTube channel so you can go and watch his full tutorial on jumping in gravity for scratch, because this is what I used. And so you guys can watch that, and hopefully, if you do watch it, you'll get more. Um, he he goes more in depth with it basically a lot a lot more than i have i just uh told you guys what to put in there but he goes into a lot more depth and explains it more clearly so if you guys want to go and see that um go link it down in the description below